first, we want to reflect on one of the 17 people who died, a teacher and cross-country coach who died a hero, Amy Lippman, with his story. To his students, he's Mr. Beagle. To his cross-country team, he's coach. Coach Scott was my coach. She was, this was first year coaching. To Linda Beagle Shulman, he's her son, Scott. Scott wanted very much to love life. To the world, he's a hero. Scott would be so proud to know that not only did he save lives of his students, but going forward, he will be saving lives of everyone as long as we understand this is a issue for humanity. Scott Beagle taught geography in Building 12 at Stoneman Douglas High School. When a shooter opened fire, he saved students stuck in the hallway by guiding them into his classroom just before he was shot and killed. Because my son is a true hero. Now his mom, Linda, is pushing for measures she believes will save more lives. If that's what it took, that my son was murdered, and that we can make sure that other people don't have to stand in my shoes or go through this, then so be it, Scott's murder will save lives. She lives in Long Island, where she raised Scott. After he died, she became a political activist, just recently being invited to Albany for a Senate resolution honoring Scott. And the passage of stronger gun control bills, including a red flag law that allows police to get a court order to stop a dangerous person from possessing guns. It has nothing to do with Second Amendment rights. It has to do with safety. It's very important to me, and I'm sorry that you see the passion, but, but that's what it's all about. Reporting in Parkland, Amy Lippman, WPTV News Channel 5.